What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and due to your popular demand and the amount of requests, I am doing part two of this Aerosmith classic, so let's not waste any time. Let's dig in. All right, let's start where the vocals come in. It's the same first chord. Same second chord. Same third chord. And the same fourth chord as the intro. And then it cycles that. So check it out. Here's the verse. And you use the same right hand pattern. Keeps doing it again. Da, da, da. Ooh, da. Keeps going. Now, finally, it cycles the first and last chord of that sequence. It does it twice. Check it out. Na, na. And because of the uh, jumping to that chord, I'm switching my pinky now to the fifth fret of the G. And so I, it's just a different fingering, but so third fret high E, second fret B, fifth on the, on, uh, the G, but with my pinky. So it's like, does it again? But then you just alternate between the B and the G string, and that's when I switch to my pick, and it goes two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and into the chorus. So uh, one more time from the top of the vocals, same as the intro of the song. Again. Du, du, du. One more. Now the sequence of the first and the last chord. And then B G B G B G B G B G B G B G B G into what we'll call the chorus which is an F power chord. So that's the eight, 10, 10, down a whole step. So the root now would be on the six of the A, then down another whole step to the fourth, then back up to the six, then back up to the eight, back down. And then for this first time it goes to the chorus, it's short, Right before it goes to that F power chord at the end, it just goes into those intro chords again. Uh, so check it out uh, from the little sequence here. And there's a lot going on with piano and bass here. So that may be, you know, it sounds empty without the other instruments, but this is the main guitar. So you've got that, uh, this voicing. Five and six and seven and eight and F power chord. Down a whole step, down a whole step, then up a whole step. But now it does the thing from back in the other video, the climb up weird stretchy thing. Just like in the intro. So after the... Uh, Now up. And you should know that from the intro, but it's the five still on the G, six on the high E with the middle finger, and pinky on 
the eight of the B. Then that stretch where the ring finger goes to eight of the high E, pinkies on the nine of the, of the B. Now it's the second verse, which is actually easier uh, than the first. It just does the cycle of those four chords. So here's the second verse. First chord, second chord, third chord. It just does this until the chorus, which we like. Chorus. And so something happens here different with the power chord thing. And then there's uh, an ascending lead guitar line. So the chords, which is really kind of following the bass, and I believe the piano and rhythm guitar, uh, you've got the regular chorus. And notice how the best part of the song is the easiest part. That happens a lot, so. And now it's a D, minor seven flat five chord, definitely on the piano. The bass is playing a D. And so what you can play is you can play, if you're not playing the lead guitar part, you can play these two, which would be five and six. If you want to get super special, five, six, five, just like a D shape. So check it out. This is the second time it's gone to this part. Here's the new thing. just a regular power chord on the fourth. Then the third fret, which is a C. We're gonna get to that really quick. That's a really cool part. But before that, as the chords are going, What's way more predominant is and so that's on the A string, or at least that's where I'm doing it. I'm going 8, 10, 11, 13. And then up to the 16, and you go 16, 15, 16, 15. And that's a trademark of Aerosmith. They do that in multiple songs. This little half step build up. They do it in a lot of songs. Check it out. You'll start to hear it. So. So you start with the first chord, we're going to use our pick, or I recommend you use a pick for this. It's the first chord, then you add your pinky to the sixth fret of the high E, so and then pinky goes up to the eight, then you pick that eight again and slide it up to the thirteen. And now to pick it, we hit start with the G 
and then high E, B, G, so forth and so on. And they don't change in even amounts, you know, so it's like... See if I can do it slower. Uh, longer. Ah, I think that, that does it. You can repeat that. Then this little fingering right here where you have eight on the high E and six on the B, you go. So it's a high E to B, high E to B, and then B, high E, two on the B. I mean, if you want to get really accurate, you know. So look at what I do here. So the next part, I've got my ring finger here. here still on the eighth fret of the high E, and I'm going. So six to eight, dun, 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 and then half step bend on that B string. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a high E in there ringing out. So it's like, uh, let's see. So dun 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 is the high E. Then it does the first part of the bridge again. Nothing new to learn. Then this part. But not, you don't have to go to the, you don't have to do any of that. You just do the first part of it into the chorus again. So it's like. Uh, now we're back here. You know, the other part's climbing up, but then the chords are going. You know, one's going that, the other one's going right. So nothing new, just goes back into the chorus, then something new. And the something new is now the kind of climax of this power chord thing, and it starts on a B flat chord. So. We'll go six fret, low E, power chord. Dream on, then up a whole step to eight, half step to nine, then 11, then hits on the 13, or also known as the F, which is the root of this F minor keyed song. So check it out again. Six fret, eight fret, 9th fret, 11th fret, then 13, and obviously there's some licks there, right? And so we got to get those licks down, indeed we do, indeed we do. So the first one is up here in the F minor pentatonic, so it's going, right? Let's just do that one more time though. Well, let's do it from here. Let's go to this.
that's one of them. We're starting on the bend, whole step bend up from the 16th fret on the B string. So four, four bends up and then a bend up back, back natural. One, two, three, four, bum, bum. Then da, da, down the pentatonic. So 13, 15, then 13, 15, 13, then down the blues run here. Then slide it down to 11 of the A, then the root. So. So the other lick is in the same scale, but we're over here on the eighth fret of the A string. So we pull from eight to six on the A string, eight on the low E, back up, back up. Then we get to the six of the D. So check that pattern out again. So we then go to the A string on the 8th fret, then roll it over the 8 of the D, pull off, and we do the same lick, but on a different set of strings. So like this, pull off to the 6, 8 on the A, from the top. So now I, imme I do a, an immediate slide from 8 to 10 on the D string and then hit the 8th the of the G. So one more time. Now we do the same thing right here on the 10 of the D, right, same idea, roll over, pull off, back, then back up, 8, 10, 9, sorry, 8, 10, 9 on the B, so, like that. back there and now I'm going to transition to index finger on the uh, B string here, 9th fret, then 11th fret on the B and then the rock and roll bend. And then you got yourself a real rock and roll song. So first verse. Second chord, third chord, fourth chord, does that, uh, I think like four times, then it goes to the transition of the first and fourth chord. Then B, G, 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 first chorus. And it's short. the intro with the stretchy t the real stretchy thing up here second verse same as the first but easier it just does this a bunch of times with nothing new no stretchy thing nothing you know sorry I was talking does it just goes right from that into the second chorus. And 
then a new thing where one set of chords is going. And while that guitar is doing that, the other guitar is going. We have a bridge. It starts on the first chord, but with a new picking pattern, and the pinkies added. This thing. Easier time this time. Now we're rocking, of course. Rocking it much harder now. We keep rocking it, rocking it, rocking it, rocking it, rocking it. Keep rocking it out, keep rocking, rock, rocking, rocking. Don't stop in. Right now we're gonna do that thing. Other guitar is going. New thing, B flat, six fret E string, up a whole step. Up a half step, up a whole step, then hits on the F, F, and while it's doing that, the other guitar is going. Now this time, it does that, and the other, and the lead guitar goes. Right? And then you got yourself a real rock song. So now check this out. The last thing is one other set of chords here. So it's from that B flat. Up a whole step, half step. This is the same. But when we get to that, instead of uh, 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 and I believe, you know, there's a chorus in be sandwiched in between. No new parts. This is the only other set of chords you need. And what happens is instead of the dun, 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 we'll go to a low F power chord. So from the B flat, up a whole step, up a half step, up a whole step. Now we go to, this is when he's doing that falsetto, right? So dream on, dream on, dream on, 11th fret, first fret, third fret, fourth fret. Six fret then C. <sighs> yes. So eleven, one, three, four, six, eight, 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 eight. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thanks for supporting Marty Music. Even signing the newsletter is great. I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you again real soon. Take care.